And welcome back to the KO5 Shift weather forecast for the day, where today we'll be continuing our daily weather forecast. Now, I'm sure you've heard that in some places, tomorrow will be getting a little hectic, as a blizzard will be hitting the United States. Where exactly? Well, let's just say that it'll be hitting most of the eastern United States, especially along the coast and the Gulf of Mexico area. While places like California will, for the most part, stay out of reach of this storm, it's said that it will reach as far north as Canada and as south as Cuba. The United States just got unlucky enough to take the brunt of it. That is not to say that while it will cover a large area of range and probably do some damage, people should be safe as long as they have sufficient supplies and stay sheltered, or evacuate to places this storm won't affect too much. And on that note, after this commercial break, we'll talk about how a blizzard forms. And on that note, here's our commercial. Kill five chips. The main one that started this whole disaster is because of jets. Jets are basically fast flowing narrow streams of air. Now as you can see in the picture, three jets of air combined into one super powerful jet. This super jet punched through between the dry polar air mass towards the top and the humid tropical air mass towards the bottom. This creates a huge disturbance in the atmosphere, which as always with disturbances makes a huge opportunity for storms and the like to happen. And since this is a super jet that created the disturbance, the atmosphere is really off balance. Which means that an even bigger storm can roll right through. What areas will be affected the most by the storm? For the most part, a blizzard will be hitting the northern area, like around New Jersey and New York, and the south will be harried by major storms. Welcome back for those of you who are just tuning in. This is the KL5 Chip Studios weather forecast, and it looks like this storm of the century, as some people are calling it, was a catastrophe. It began on March 12, 1993, and officially ended on March 14th. It hit the U.S. hard, and the damage is unparalleled to anything we've seen before, with a total damage cost of $5.5 billion. There are said to be around 11 confirmed tornadoes, but an estimation of the actual number of tornadoes that occurred during this event was 15. The snowfall rate at the height of the storm was 2 to 3 inches of snow per hour, and the highest wind speeds were around 90 miles per hour. Luckily, the Coast Guard saved about 160 people in distress on ships, and workers saved about 200 hikers in the North Carolina and Tennessee mountains. Account for casualties were, were about 270 deaths altogether, and many more were injured. However, the worst of it is over, and although many of us are still reeling from this shocking experience, we are coming back and rebuilding. The U.S. will be ready for whatever catastrophe nature has in store for us next. But until then, KO5 Chips Studios weather forecast will always be here for you. Forecasting five chips at a time. Kale five chips.